Welcome everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day. Kubrick here and today I have a third episode of my building Zephyr series and I gotta tell you guys, we're getting there. This one right here will be the last work in progress episode and then we're going straight to the finale. As predicted I had to make some orders on Brickling and not everyone has been delivered to me but I already have few new parts which you will see later in the video. And as for the current progress, we've got a lot of work done since the last video, so let's not waste any more time and just jump straight into the mock. And maybe let's start showing off the progress with the overall view from the top, because this is what changed the most. As you can see, all of this stuff is starting to look more and more like the view from the game. Most of the groundwork is already done. There are just few places on the courtyard that needs finishing, but that is where the hole will come in. Mostly it's the green curved slopes I use for moss all around the mock, but also there are a few wedge plates missing here and there. The area surrounding the tower may be a bit more complex since the shape is round and as we all know this shape is not the easiest to make out of lego, but I try not to worry about that too much. So we have here a mix of rock, dirt, grass and bits of snow and I gotta say it's looking fine. Nothing more I could add here since the whole courtyard in the game is basically a flat surface. As you heard me talk about a few times, this will be a place where Cal will be fighting a bunch of stormtroopers. So because of that there is no need for more details on the ground as it would just get in the way of action. The thing I added here is the broken part of the bridge with the stairs leading up to it. Now this is just a prototype here because I want to make it in sand blue color since it's the most similar to what we can see here. But I'm very happy with the shape I got and when it's in blue it should be looking awesome. Next to the bridge it's not hard to notice the tower which is of course not final since I will be rebuilding it from bottom to top when I get all the parts for it, but the overall idea is set with the roof and the hole in the top. Of course there will be also an interior part of it seen through the hole and the roof will be made in sand blue just like the broken bridge. So a lot more work here, but it should really stand out in the end. I mean, just look at the shot right here. With the right colors and fully built, it's gonna be epic. I was also working on both of the buildings, so let's talk about the smaller one first, because this one is already finished. And I'm really happy of how it turned out. I tried to recreate the style of the building as close as possible, keeping in mind that it is not a full building as it is in the game, but rather just a part of it. So the back of the building was my own creative approach, based on some other buildings seen all around the village. The backside has some small windows and a bigger one in the corner. The top is a bit damaged and covered in some dirt and grass to fit the overall aesthetics and I placed the antenna type thingies here as well. Here is where I put some flags on. As for the smaller one it's a no brainer here, but for the bigger one I wanted to make something different what I saw on Flickr some time ago. A flag made of clips. This way I'll be able to mix few colors on one flag, but I couldn't finish it because I didn't have the parts. Now going down again, let's check out the front part of the building, which is what I like the most because of those slanted parts. These are just loose columns placed on a 1x2 grill slope, but the look really resembles what the source material looks like. I am not totally happy with the curved part of the wall because of the holes that are in the bricks. But that is something that will be covered with moss, at least partly, so it should look way better when completed. Okay, now let's check out the other side of the mock, because I've been working on the second building as well. And since here I had some more space than in the previous one, I've decided to make all of the walls slanted. The ones in the game look a bit different than the smaller ones anyway, so I've decided to make them in a similar technique as the slanted pieces there. I already placed some details on the wall like this little window and the banner that is hanging down the wall. I'll probably make a sticker here as well, but I'm not quite sure yet. Maybe it will be made in some other way. The top is still to be finished and the roof will be fully utilized by making room for some crates, antennas and all sorts of details. And of course there will be some stormtroopers here as well, shooting down at Cal. Now as for the rest of the building, you may remember that I wanted to make an interior here. And guess what, I've already started this as well by making the inside walls and the floor. And as you can see, I also decided to put some lights here as well. I thought about making this interior turn into some sort of an imperial storage room. 
So I'll put a bunch of crates and containers here, maybe a little scene involving a stormtrooper or two and all will be lit from above with a lego light kit. I already placed the lights here and I think that after placing some junk and making these lights into some old school lanterns, the look of the inside will be a worthy addition to the mock. The backside of the mountain is just a bunch of dark grey bricks, but I like the way it goes with the stone floor inside the storage. And here is where I placed the battery pack. This part is collapsed anyway, so there is no point of making an interior here, so I'll just cover it with more dark grey bricks. The rest is just a case of covering the top with some rockwork, moss and the roof of the building of course. But for all that, you'll just have to wait until the finale. And since I think I covered all the progress I've made, it's time to see what new parts I got. First of all, I got some green elements for the moss to place all around the mock. So here we have three types of curved slopes and some G slopes as well. For the ground I also needed some plates in different sizes. Few jumpers, tiles and of course some wedge plates. Here I have some elements for the antennas and the clips I'll be using to make the flags as I was talking about earlier. And finally there's a whole plethora of sand blue elements I will be using for both the roof and the broken bridge. These were the most expensive parts I got, as you probably know, because it's not the most common color you can find in sets. But more of those and many other types of sand blue, as well as green parts are still to come with the last order that I'm waiting on. And I hope it will be delivered quickly because I want to finish the build as soon as possible. And that is all I have for you in this episode guys. The next part will be of course the finale and it should be out in about 2 weeks. I think when the final order will come in I will have all the parts I need so it's just a case of putting it together as planned and finishing the entire project. And then moving to the next one which I am already planning out but I'll talk more about that in the next video. Now it's time for you to let me know how do you like the build so far in the comment section below. And if there is anything still missing here or you have some ideas on how to make the mock even better, I'm open to suggestions. But above all, I hope you had fun watching me put this build together and if you did, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I will see you guys next time in the finale. And until then, take care and keep it bricking.